Hello and welcome back. Today I'm out once again doing some jigging for perch. It's a bit of a part two to the last one. I didn't really want to be doing a lot of this kind of fishing and I don't want you to get bored. But unfortunately the conditions haven't really been great for underwater film on the river. They haven't really been great for bait fishing on the local canal. Uh, just with heavy, heavy boat traffic that we've been getting at the minute. It's, uh, it's, it's alright in between the boats but there's just that many of them at the minute. It's been a bit of a struggle. So I've come out early morning today. We've had a lot of rain, so I'm hoping that's put off some of the boaters. And I decided just to come, like I say, do some micro jigging once again. Today I've got half a gram jig head, and I believe the hook on that is a size 8. Just uh, increase my hook up chances a little bit more, and uh, pretty much the same bait as what I used mostly in the last video, which is the little quorum snapper, tiny little micro swim jig. Great bait, seems to catch a few fish, uh, loads of perch in it last time. And I also had a rud on it. So it'd be interesting to see what I can catch today. The conditions are actually better than then. Back then, there had been a lot of boats before I even started filming. Today, the water is gin clear for now. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a few fish out before the first boat comes through. Because the boats do make a big difference to the perch fishing. So without further ado, I'll crack on, get fishing, get jigging. I'm going to be doing lots of sort of hopping on the bottom. Uh, bringing it through shallow and reeling it mid-water with lots of jigs and taps and straight retrieves. Keep changing it up and uh, see what the fish are eating and hopefully we can catch them. Absolutely choked it. Oh, there's another one down there. Let me fold this one in. With the water being so clear, seeing as though we've had no boats so far today, I'm judging that by the fact that one, the water's clear, and two, it's raining, which means boaters don't like it. Boaters don't seem to like the rain. Or at least you don't get as many out when it's raining. So let's see if this little creature bait will draw one out. Oh, gunky creature bait. I'll put it on there a bit of an odd angle. That's because it might give it a bit of a different action. Let's see if this can pick anything out. Oh, damn it. Him. Oh, for God's sake. He was hooked in the mouth, I swear. <laughs> I watched him grab it. Hook must have come out. Cute little guy. It's weird because if this was a river, this would be perfect prime perch territory but for some reason I find when it comes to canals you seem to find more perch around the sort of man-made bricks and rocky kind of areas and it tends to be the pike you find around these more natural areas with lots of reeds I mean right there if that was on a river and I'd been jigging it down them reeds I probably would have had something follow like a small perch or something like that whereas on the canal if you did it under a bridge and that's when you'd be more likely to get a follow. It's just strange how they uh, adapt to certain areas where they're in. Seems to have preferred areas no matter what venue they're on. At least that's what I found in my local venues anyway. You watch in a minute, I'll probably get like a two pounder or something. Oh, there's a perch. <laughs> this is all saying you don't really get them around here. It's not actually that bad either. <laughs> really chunky fish, look at that, something's had hold of it. There isn't a mark on that side, but there is on that, so 
Unsure what that might have been. Absolutely choked that bait. It was just as a rope shot was swimming past. Don't really surprise me. Probably swimming with that rope shell. Loads of snags out there. Random reeds that are coming to the top in the middle of the canal. I thought there might be a few branches. Perfecto. Got one. Yes. Just a little guy again, but once again, absolutely choked it. Ooh, there's a little pike down there then. I'm sure there was. Something shot out really quick and just hit it and swam away. Oh, well that wasn't it. <laughs> but still welcome. I absolutely crushed it once again. Really chunky fish these. Must have been feeding well on the fry. Damn it, I really would like a micro pike. It's been a while since I've had a tiny, tiny one anyway. Oh, I've got loads of weed on my own. Oh, we've reached a bridge. And uh, we all know what bridges mean. Bridge time! I'm not cast under it just yet. I've uh, cast casting down the concrete that leads up to the bridge and there's a perch already and we just had the tail What does it say? Bridges equal perches. Now right, let's try again. I'm sure it shouldn't take too long. Nope, there's one already. Got it. Bridges equal perches. All right, let's see if we can make it three in a row. Oops, bit of crud cast. Let's see. It was a bad cast though. I wouldn't blame it if it didn't catch me anything. So let's talk about the retrieve. I didn't really go into much detail last time about exactly what I was doing. Um, but basically you've kind of got to find what the fish I wanted. But so far, it seems like the fish are wanting quite a fast retrieve. Um, now with this lure, I could reel it in on a straight retrieve if I wanted to, and that paddle tail will spin quite nicely in the water, creating a lot of vibration. But what I have been doing, which has been getting most of my bites, is very, very fast twitching of the rod tip. Making it twitch very quickly, bringing it through at a steady pace, and it's been coming through at roughly about half depth. The canal is about four foot deep, so it's been coming through about two foot deep, maybe a little bit lower. Um, all I have to do is slow the retrieve down or drop the jig to be able to get it down to um, three or four foot. Um, sometimes I've had a couple of fish that have actually picked it up from near the bottom. So it tells me that they're sort of in the mid range to the lower sections of the, the water column today. 
but you'll also see me doing when my jigging is every now and again I will just let it drop down to the bottom jig it back up drop it down jig it back up it's just me trying to find where the fish are different swims are different no swims will be the same you'll get some swims where there's lots of mid water or high water snags and these fish might be in the mid water range and you find other areas where it looks clear and it's probably because the bottom's quite snaggy and that's where the fish should be on the deck sometimes you might be uh, better off using a weedless jig but in the last two sessions I've not actually got this snagged up and snapped in a swim yet I've been snapped off by a pike um, but that's about it so far so yeah wicked little setup um, like I can say it's only one meter yeah, that's what I told you in my last video anyway if you watch that it's just over one meter rod it's absolutely perfect for this and a, a tiny little size 500 reel that'll be in the description um, but yeah wicked little setup for a, a very quick run out of the canal plenty of fish so far and I'm sure I'll be able to catch more What's a chub? Woo! God, he nailed it. Yes, look at that. Oh. Absolutely nailed that bait. I'm having to hold him quite tight here because God, he's a lively little guy. Look at that right on the skin at the front of its mouth but it really did hit it hard wicked fish it jumped straight out of the water i thought it was a small jack pike <laughs> that's cool another chub not quite as big as the first one that is absolutely stunning though. Look at the colours on that. Absolutely beautiful fish. God, look at that parasite on its head. The size of that. Nice little bugger, isn't it? You watch this what we do with parasites, look. Yeah. Got him. Sweet. So thank you guys for watching i hope you've enjoyed that video um if you liked it don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button i upload weekly um at least once i try to average two if i can do um but obviously that all depends on the fishing i get out about three days a week and um i always try and make that into two videos but yeah thank you for watching if you want to check out the facebook or the instagram the links will be in the description i'll also leave a link to this little reel here this little bad boy uh, and also the line i was using today um and i'll catch you guys later